today's video, we're gonna be exploring the supermarket here in Interlochen. We're at Migro, and we're here to see how expensive it is to buy groceries near the Swiss Alps. We have spent the last few days exploring the beautiful places in Grindelwald, Interlochen, and just getting outdoors in the place that we love to be. We hiked 16 miles with a two-year-old and unfortunately got sunburnt and super sore. We are almost there. Almost there, yeah. Had to switch. Yeah, it's definitely hard on the knees and the feet more than anything going down. Oh, my knees hurt so bad. We also made a random stop at Lake Thun that turned out to be one of our favorite and most beautiful memories in Switzerland. Truly, we've been having the time of our lives, but we've also been eating foods like ramen noodles, oatmeal, and soup. We finally said enough with that and decided to take it to a restaurant where we had mouth-watering traditional Swiss food. Think fondue, raclette, roasty, and a homemade mac and cheese. Mmm, we are pretty sure we died and went to heaven. This is everything that I need in life. Whatever it's made out of. Divine. Yeah. I eat all the cheap pickles. But here in Switzerland, everything comes at a high cost. From the food to activities, you typically spend more here than almost any other country. We wanted to do a supermarket tour to see what products are available and how much they cost. Supermarket Migro is a large corporation, the largest in Switzerland, has over 2 million members of the cooperative, and is one of the top 40 largest companies in the world. Honestly, we shopped at the co-op when we were up in Lauterbrunnen and Grindelwald, so Migros, this is our first time being here, and we're excited to see what it's all about. So as you guys saw, we got our cart downstairs in the parking area, and while we were doing that, we noticed this thing on the cart. We have no idea what this is for, at first I was like, maybe it's like a drink holder or something, but that's not big enough. I don't know, maybe it's like a handle just for that to like direct. I don't know, but other than that, it was standard, just put in your one euro or two euros or one Swiss franc. So you can have that option, which is nice for us because we've actually done this trip without converting any money over to Swiss francs. Luckily, you can use your card for most places. While we're here, we're noticing that there are small cards and we know Will is gonna love that. We'll let her decide what she wants. We're gonna go in and explore. Look over there. It's, it's for the self scanning. You get it? You scan your own food here? You can scan it, I think. Oh, we're doing that if you can. I think you have to rent it, I think, or whatever. So I guess we've answered my own question what this is for, and it looks like it's for a scanner to be held here. So here's a self scanner thing. I don't know, I can't just get it. I'm guessing you have to pay for it. Okay, here you go. Right in here. Oh, good job! You did it! Okay, now take your card out. <gasps> you ready to go? To use this, you have to have a specific card to scan it to get it. That's unfortunate because I was gonna, I was gonna have fun scanning everything, but we don't have these near us. And that is a good question. Are these in Germany? Based on what I saw, that there are some, at least Migro owned supermarkets in Germany, but I don't know if they're actually named Migro. If you're in Germany and you're watching this, are there? Have you seen them? I have never seen these. They look like kind of a grape, but also kind of like a melon. For 250 grams of raspberries, it comes in at about 560 for the cheapest version, which is a lot, a lot more than we are used to in Germany. We should probably preface that a lot of these items, we're not entirely sure if they're in or out of season. I know the berries are starting to come in at the time that we're shooting this video, but still, this is pretty close to like double to what prices that we've normally been seeing. Put them in your cart. We love to get hummus and have it with vegetables or crackers. And this was the only hummus available that we saw, and it was 350 Swiss francs for this. I think it's like a little over two euro, I think, in Germany. So <laughs> we're hoping it's really good. We all love this, but this is quite a surprise how much this was. If you guys follow us on Instagram, you know that we love cilantro. We love the flavor that it gives to like Asian and Indian type dishes. In Germany, we have a really tough time finding it, but they do have it here and it is pretty pricey. I think it was one euro for the same amount in Germany and it is 220 here. So 
ouch. We probably would be spending a pretty penny or trying to grow our own if we had to live here. So compared to the states and especially where we live in Utah, you can get a large bundle of cilantro for like 75 cents and it was like two to three times the amount that is sold here. So this is like a very large difference. Americans just tend to like cilantro. We've heard from some of our European friends that that flavor is just hard to like. It's kind of like an acquired taste. So it makes sense. One thing that I have noticed here at the supermarket though is they had a wide variety of herbs which is really awesome. More than we're used to seeing in our German supermarkets. We don't live in a big city though so it's not really fair to compare. We know that you can get large bundles of cilantro at a Turkish supermarket. It's just not close enough for us to drive into them. They did have like mixtures of like high ingredients that you can sell in a bundle. They also had lemongrass which is nowhere to be found in the supermarkets where we live. Another thing we're trying to get used to is making sure we use these little scales that print out the weight and the price of the products. It's something that we didn't really grow up with. We usually just took it to the cash register, it didn't matter what it was, how many we had, how much it was. They would weigh it, put in the code, and they would tell us how much it was. Here they do have these scales where you can print off the prices. And so sometimes when we get to the cash register, we do forget about it, and then they either have to like type in the code or they have to run over to the scale and quickly do it. So we're still getting used to that. We got four bananas for almost two dollars, so kind of expensive. This one's probably not so much of a surprise, but we are seeing the avocados are fairly expensive as they are on the German economy and even at the PX for us. So not so much of a surprise, they are fairly comparable in price. And anywhere in Europe essentially, you're going to have a larger selection of cheeses. Here there are so many Swiss made cheeses, mmm, they look so delicious. We're noticing that a lot of the products in the supermarket are from Switzerland, which is the same for Germany. A lot of the products in Germany are from Germany. So we think that both countries do a really good job of taking advantage of what's made in their local area. The cheese section just keeps on going. There's literally one, two, three, four. There's five different refrigerated sections that are just chuck full of cheese. Wow. Oh my gosh, this is wasabi cheese. And I have no idea what this one is. Pink Queen cheese is what it's called. They're really cool. So Muesli is a big deal here in Switzerland. Some even consider it one of the national dishes here in Switzerland. And it was interesting walking around the yogurt dairy section. There is yogurt with Muesli in it. And I've never seen this before. I think it's pretty cool. I've had overnight oats that I just make homemade. So I'm guessing this probably tastes similar to it. This is a big container and there are a lot of other different kinds here that are really big as well. Dairy products here in, really in Germany and Switzerland are chef's kiss. So in the seats you can buy like five dozen eggs at a time. They come stacked up in like three layers and you purchase them that way. This is the first time that I've ever seen bulk eggs that you can buy. These say budget on them, so I'm guessing they're similar to the states where it's just a budget one, you get them for lower cost. I'm surprised. Okay, for all of this, this is 360. So if you compare, this here is 620 Swiss francs. So, I mean, that's crazy. These are local free range. These ones are imported and not free range. Okay, well I was not really expecting to find this, but they do have horse in the refrigerated section here. I do know that some of the menus we saw up in Grindelwald, they did have horse as an option, or ostrich I think, if I remember right. But that's something we've never tried before. I don't really know how I feel about it. I've heard from others that it tastes just fine. There's not like a big taste difference between other meats they've had. It's just something that I'm not quite ready to do. I'm seeing right off the bat that chicken fillets and chicken breasts and like even an entire chicken is fairly expensive. Again, from Switzerland, but I'm actually quite astonished that like just an entire little chicken was like almost 11 Swiss francs. And I just looked at some pork cutlets. We bought some just two weeks ago in Germany and I think it was maybe like three and a half, four and a half euro for about the same quantity, maybe just a little bit less. And so to see this one run almost to 10 Swiss francs, it's like, oh wow, there is a significant price difference. Just like in Germany, a healthy selection of mustard and mayo, which we've grown to love. So this is Fleischkäse, which I'm not sure exactly what kind of meat, probably pork. That is pretty salty, 
really salty I might add. It's got a lot of seasonings in it, so not bad. Really fun to try it. Not something I would probably buy. Still, it's really fun that they have these. We don't see this very often in Germany. You want to show Daddy the crackers? Just how much? Mm, Two fifty. Oh. So if you've watched our first time going into a German supermarket, you'll have seen that we pointed out the Mexican section. So I know the store is small, but this is a very limited Asian section and Mexican se section that they have here. We're used to like whole aisles having ethnic foods. Probably will happen in the bigger stores, but it's kind of interesting to see. Here we're going to do the same. It is quite little. It's just always a shock to us because they're so big in the States, not throwing shade anywhere. It's just a difference of culture and we appreciate those differences. They are worth pointing out. I myself, I have no idea what a creamy white fajita sauce is. So if you try this, tell me how it tastes because I only know of sour cream, or ranch or like tomatillo dressing that may go with a fajita or a taco, any Mexican dish, but a creamy white fajita sauce. I don't know. Of course, because we're American, we have to see what peanut butter selection they have. It's quite limited, but we also expect that. We know that not everybody loves peanut butter like we do, especially like we do. Oh man, we love it. One thing we didn't realize we were missing when we lived in the States is all of the delicious creamy spreads that you can buy at the German supermarket. Pistachio cream, white chocolate cream, I mean the list goes on and on and on. There are quite large selections in the German supermarkets for this and I'm kind of surprised to see that there's not very many options here in this supermarket. Maybe this is just what's available here and it's different in other locations but I'm a little surprised about that. Speaking from someone who's American and who's lived in Europe and the States now, do not buy these you guys. No, 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 no. What a fun time exploring this new supermarket. I love going grocery shopping. I love finding new foods, being able to taste and try new things. And that's why we love living in Germany is there's so many new cultures and foods all around us and it's just fun to explore one country at a time. So how expensive is Switzerland? Well, it's expensive. Most people know Switzerland as being one of the most expensive places to live and travel to in the world. So really it doesn't come as any surprise that the food is also more expensive. But with that said, would we live in the Swiss Alps if we could? Likely. It's a beautiful area and we're blown away each time we come. Thanks for watching you guys. We hope you enjoyed this video and could learn something new with us. Stay tuned for future videos as we're going to the United Kingdom. This is going to be our first time ever going and we won't tell you much more than that, but it is a very large city. Hint, hint, so stay tuned.